Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Tallahassee developer J.T. Burnett entered the federal courthouse facing up to 70 years on five corruption convictions. Was it worth it? Burnett was convicted of bribing former Tallahassee mayor and two-time statewide candidate Scott Maddox and his business partner. None of the convictions were likely without Irwin Jackson. He spent the last dozen years battling corruption in the state capitol. And he decided he would rather write a check and get an advantage over his competition. And that's a problem with the business community. Oh my gosh, it's real money. To call attention to the corruption, Jackson handed out piles of real cash at a city commission meeting. I put on a visual display about what corruption is. The FBI conducted at least two investigations and likely impacted the 2018 race for governor when Andrew Gillum faced off against Ron DeSantis. 20 FBI agents have spent two years investigating the city and Mayor Andrew Gillum's tenure. DeSantis won by four-tenths of a percent. Ethics watchdog Ben Wilcox says the capital city continues to pay a price. Nobody wants to come to a community that's known for pay-to-play corruption. Jackson's day job is renting apartments to students and his yearly property taxes run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. We asked Jackson why he cared so deeply for so long. Every time I see a dollar being stolen from the city, I think it's my personal dollar. And while many in the city hail the sentencing as a conclusion of a sad time, Jackson says it's far from over. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.